What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So, welcome to this very very casual unboxing video and my first impressions on the Umidigi A13 Pro. So, of course, special thanks to Umidigi for sending this to me for a review. And yes, thankfully, umabot naman to sa akin and hindi kin lame ng customs. And this is actually my first phone from Umidigi. I thought this was my second phone. But I remember that the one that I reviewed in the past was the Ukitel C21. And why did I say that this is going to be a very casual unboxing video? It's because I'm going to be unboxing this on my bed. Okay, so here we have the Umidigi A13 Pro. And what I have with me is the 4GB, 128GB variant. Uh, although there is a 6GB, 128GB variant. And this is the Galaxy Blue color option. And honestly, I'm a bit disappointed with the specs. On the A13 Pro, considering that you can buy this for around uh, at least this 4 gig, 128 gig variant for 8 to 9,000 pesos, depending on where you're gonna buy it. So we have a Unisoc T610 chipset uh, running on Android 11. Again, 4 gigs of memory with 128 gigs of storage, a dual SIM, hybrid dual SIM, a 5,150 milliampere battery, which is of course very nice, a 6.7 inch 720p display. At this price, I'm actually expecting 1080p. But oh well, and if I'm not mistaken, this is only a 60Hz panel and not a 90Hz. As you know, something like the Infinix Hot 11S for uh, 7 5 to 8,000 pesos has a 90Hz display. And we also have a triple camera setup with a 48MP main sensor, an 8MP ultrawide, and a 5MP macro with a 16MP front-facing camera. And no, this doesn't have 5G. So there we have the phone itself and already a case, a software TPU case. Beyond Dreams. So there we have the SIM ejector tool and an instruction manual. So there you have your charger with only 10 watts of max output. Unfortunately, also the A13 Pro doesn't have any type of fast charging capability. So you're stuck at 10 watts of charging and at this price I was actually expecting the A13 Pro to have at least 18 watts of fast charging but unfortunately we don't have it and we do actually get a very nice uh, red charging cable a type A to type C and apparently the main sensor is a 48 megapixel Sony sensor and we actually do get a pre-installed plastic screen protector. Okay so regarding the physical dimensions of the phone this is actually a pretty thick phone we do get a beyond dreams uh, printed here i'm not a fan of that and also we do get a small umidigi branding here at the right bottom part and we do get a plastic um if i'm not mistaken a unibody design at the right side of the phone we do get a power button slash fingerprint scanner volume up and down on top of that and at the left side we do get a multi-function like extra button so you can map that to whatever function you want if I'm not mistaken our dual sim card tray and at the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a secondary noise cancelling microphone and at the bottom of the phone we do get our main microphone USB type-c charging port and our bottom firing speaker grill unfortunately this doesn't have dual stereo speakers also now let's see if this has any charge Okay, so I'm gonna set this up real quick and come back to you guys in a bit. A few moments later. And we're back mga kuya. So I've been using the A13 Pro for quite a bit now. And the first thing that I'm gonna show actually is the performance on Genshin Impact. Which is actually quite surprising. I wasn't expecting the Unisoc um, processor to be able to handle it. So this is running at the lowest graphic settings at uh, 30 FPS. And it's... Uh, playable experience there are some occasional stutters that you'll notice but for the most part it's a really playable experience and also this is the first phone that i've had in a while that actually heated up to the point that it was uncomfortable to touch um when downloading genshin impact but right now it's uh, it's still a little bit warm but not to the point that it would be uncomfortable to hold so yeah performance on genshin impact is surprising it's playable very nice. And yeah, browsing for the UI is fairly smooth for the most part. Of course, considering that I just um, unboxed this, this is a brand new phone. And honestly, I'm a bit disappointed that this doesn't have a higher refresh rate or at least a 90Hz display. Because at that price, again, compared to the Infinix Hot 11S, 
which has a MediaTek Helio G88, which is a bit more capable of a chipset compared to the Unisoc T610 in here. But yeah, so far this is a solid budget smartphone from UmiDG. Uh, nothing too crazy. The display is decent, not bad at all. And one surprising thing actually is even though this only has a bottom firing speaker, it actually sounds better compared to the Infinix Zero 5G, which I mentioned in my review, probably has the worst speaker on any phone that I've used. It gets fairly loud. It's not bassy at all, but the mids and highs are, I would describe as good. And regarding camera performance, of course, I don't want to make my conclusion right now, but here are a few test shots. And regarding the 5,150 mAh battery in here, um, I'm expecting it to be easily a two-day battery life for most people. Maybe the same for me, I'm not sure. Of course, uh, you'll find that out in my full review of this next week. The fingerprint scanner though is fast and accurate for the most part. And so far, this is a decent budget smartphone from UmiDG. Um, I don't want to complain too much. But right now, I am comparing it spec-wise to the Infinix Hot 11s. And compared to that, this is kind of disappointing. But again, I don't want to complain too much. So more info on this on my full review, so stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already for my full review on the A13 Pro. And yeah, that was my unboxing and first impressions on the UmiDG A13 Pro. And of course, special thanks again to UmiDG for sending this to me for a review. As always, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Stay safe mga kuya. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Still got a cheddar fin Yeah, I'm watching out for ops Yeah, they know my